Pope Francis, in a world that emphasizes excesses, temperance brings order to the heart. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. Pope Francis dedicated his general audience catechesis on Wednesday, April 17, to reflect on the virtue of temperance, which means power over oneself and which is also the art of not allowing oneself to be overwhelmed by rebellious passions. From St. Peter's Square at the Vatican, the Holy Father stressed that temperance ensures the mastery of the will over instincts and that it is also the virtue of just measure. People who act out of impetus or exuberance are ultimately unreliable. People without temperance are unreliable, the pontiff stressed. Before the faithful participating in the general audience, he noted that even with pleasures the temperamental person acts with judgment. The free course of impulses and the total license granted to pleasures end up turning against ourselves, plunging us into a state of boredom, he then warned. For Pope Francis, a person with temperance knows how to weigh and dose words well and does not allow a moment of anger to ruin relationships and friendships that can then only be rebuilt with great effort. Especially in family life, where inhibitions are lower, we all run the risk of not keeping tensions, irritations, anger under control. There is a time to speak and a time to be silent, but both require the right measure, he said. He affirmed that sometimes it is necessary to be indignant, but always in the right way. A word of reproach is sometimes healthier than a bitter and rancorous silence. The temperamental person knows that there is nothing more uncomfortable than correcting another, but he also knows that it is necessary, otherwise one would be giving free rein to evil. He stressed that the gift of temperance is, therefore, balance and equality as precious as it is rare. In this line, he stressed that everything, in fact, in our world pushes to excess and affirmed that, instead, temperance goes well with evangelical attitudes such as smallness, discretion, dissimulation, meekness. Whoever is temperate appreciates the esteem of others, but does not make it the sole criterion of every action and every word. He is sensitive, he knows how to cry and is not ashamed of it, but he does not cry over himself. Defeated, he gets up, victorious, he is able to return to his old hidden life of always. He does not seek applause, but he knows that he needs others. Pope Francis assured that it is not true that temperance makes us gray and joyless. On the contrary, it makes one better enjoy the goods of life. Happiness with temperance is the joy that blossoms in the heart of one who recognizes and values what matters most in life. Let us pray to the Lord to give us this gift, Pope Francis concluded. At the end of his catechesis and during his greeting to the pilgrims, Pope Francis stressed once again that in a world that emphasizes excesses, temperance puts order in the heart. Pope Francis' message on temperance offers a profound reflection on the importance of this virtue in our lives. Here are some reflections and examples based on his teachings. 1. Balance and control over impulses. Temperance involves exercising mastery over our instincts and emotions. For example, when someone provokes us with hurtful words, temperance teaches us to respond calmly instead of getting carried away by anger and saying things we might later regret. 2. Just measure in relationships. The Pope highlights how temperance influences our interpersonal interactions. A temperamental person can damage close relationships with excessive or impulsive reactions. For example, in family life, learning to control our emotions and respond with serenity can avoid unnecessary conflict. 3. Proper use of words. Temperance guides us in the management of our words. Speaking the truth with love and avoiding impulsive responses allows us to maintain healthy and constructive relationships. For example, in an argument, a temperamental response may cause emotional harm, while temperate communication can lead to a peaceful resolution. 4. Appreciation for discretion and gentleness. Temperance helps us to value qualities such as littleness, discretion, and meekness. These gospel attitudes allow us to relate with humility and respect for others, recognizing that not everything needs an immediate or forceful response. And 5 authentic joy and appreciation for what is essential. Temperance does not deprive us of joy, 
but rather helps us find more authentic happiness by valuing what really matters in life. This involves enjoying goods in a balanced way, without falling into the trap of excesses that can ultimately leave an emptiness in the heart. Temperance, according to Pope Francis, does not make us gray or apathetic, but rather empowers us to experience true joy and inner peace by living with authenticity and balance. It is a reminder of the importance of cultivating this virtue in our daily lives, in our relationships and decisions, in order to find a full and meaningful life in the midst of a world often marked by excess and turmoil.